Hello, a very good morning. It's seven o'clock. You're watching Kay Burley at breakfast live from the very heart of Westminster on what could prove to be a defining week, probably one of the most defining weeks of the decade in political uh, politics here at Westminster. This is our new look breakfast show where over the next two hours we're going to be joined by the major parties as we gear up for the state opening of Parliament and a pivotal few days in the Brexit negotiations. First, top stories for you if you're waking up to on Monday the 14th of October. Boris Johnson's Brexit deal hangs in the balance with just days before he may be forced to seek an extension to the Halloween deadline. Meanwhile, the government is setting out its new po uh, policy agenda with Labour dismissing the Queen's speech as farcical pre-election stunt. Also this morning, Harry Dunn's parents deliver an ultimatum to Anne Sekoulis, saying they'll only meet her if she agrees to travel to the United Kingdom. The Syrian army joins forces with the Kurds, heading north to take on the Turkish invasion. And Hero PC Andrew Harper's family and colleagues prepare to mark his funeral. In the currency markets, the pound is down slightly against the dollar and the euro. And looking at the weather for you this morning, rainy where we are, sunny in the north of England, Scotland as well today, showers forecast for the rest of us. A very good morning. Fasten your seatbelts. The coming days will finally determine whether Boris Johnson can fulfil his leadership election pledge. He promised to take the United Kingdom out of the European Union by the end of October. Do or die. Intensive talks are set to resume in Brussels this morning. Last night, the EU's chief negotiator, Michel Barnier, said a lot of work remains to be done for an exit deal to be agreed. If those efforts fail, the Prime Minister will be legally obliged to seek a further Brexit extension. Meanwhile, behind me, the Queen will conduct the state opening of Parliament, not quite yet, about half past 11 thereabouts, with the government keen to showcase a host of new domestic law and order measures. Our political correspondent, Tom Rayner, reports. <laughs> 